Welcome back everybody to another video. Today we are finishing boosting this Civic. As you saw in the last one, we installed the eBay Turbo Kit and we got it running, but there's a couple things we need to button up. We need to put the front bumper on, we need to finish the exhaust, which means we need to mate the downpipe up to the rest of the exhaust, delete the resonator. What else? We need to install a boost gauge, finish up some lines for turbo stuff, and a wastegate dump, wastegate dump. So right now, John is uh, cutting some pipes, doing some fabrication. I cut the flange off of the old exhaust and I'm welding it onto the new exhaust so it bolts up to the downpipe. And yeah, I, I'm excited to hear this car with the broken resonator deleted and with like a turbo. Like it's gonna sound really, it's gonna be probably pretty quiet, um, but it's gonna sound good. This muffler? Uh huh. This is, um, this is like an actual Apexi muffler. Oh, nice. Yeah, this muffler is sick because it's not a fart cannon. It's actually like a nice muffler. We finished the exhaust, deleted the resonator, uh, deleted the resonator, and added the flange, so it actually bolts up to the downpipe. Or should I say, I went ahead, made a turn down for the wastegate, welded it up, painted it up. Boost controller is ran to the wastegate, blow off valves ran, downpipe is on with the correct hardware. What else did we do? We fixed the oil leak, hopefully. Sure, we haven't tested that. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's turn it on. I wanna hear how it sounds with the rest of the exhaust connected now. Dead battery, really? No, I swear it's a connected battery. Oh yeah, that would help, that's true. <laughs> oh yeah, that's quiet. What's that noise? <laughs> no, it's just something over here vibrating. It's just the lift is vibrating, that's all it is. So that vibrating guys, that's the lift up there, ignore that. Yeah, I mean, you can tell it's a tune. <laughs> All right, so it is the next day. Now, earlier this morning, I posted the last video where we installed the majority of the turbo kit. I'm seeing a lot of the same comments in the comment section, so I want to address them. The thing that most of you guys noticed is that the oil drain is too low in the oil pan. There she be. You very well might be right, but we don't have another oil pan and we don't want to have two bungs in this oil pan, so for now, we're just gonna leave it. If the turbo starts smoking, if anything starts going wrong, then we'll get another oil pan and we'll, we'll make a new bun. In yesterday's video, we were complaining that the turbo was facing this direction. A lot of you guys asked, why don't we just flip it around? We would have, but two things. The downpipe is made so it only works when it's in this direction. And secondly, the manifold is angled. So if we flipped it around, the turbo would probably hit the block. A lot of you guys pointed out that this manifold is probably like this 
uh, in order to clear stock power steering and AC on a car with power steering and AC. Now this car doesn't have power steering or AC, um, so it seems like there's a bunch of room right here, but this is where the power steering and the AC stuff would go. It probably would have been better to get one that works with you know, a car that doesn't have power steering and AC, but this will work, it'll, it'll do the job. Those are really the only two comments that I saw over and over again, so I wanted to address them. We're almost there, we're almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and make this uh, stock bumper fit. We were having some issues fitting the, um, the intercooler piping, so I'll get her done. <laughs> I was successful. I got the front bumper on without having to cut anything on the front. The bottom is pretty chopped, as you can tell, um, in order to fit the intercooler piping over here. But it does fit, and it fits pretty well. Oh, there we go, nice light. Turbo kit's done. I installed the boost gauge as well. Um, you can kind of see everything that's going on here. You have the wastegate dump, you have the, the downpipe, the oil drain, which everyone says is too low. All this sandwich plate talk is making me hungry for some boost. <laughs> that was pretty good. I'm actually kind of hungry too, for some reason, even though we like just <laughs> ate. <laughs> we literally just ate. I know. I'm a hungry boy. One sad thing is that John discovered that his ECU doesn't actually work. The, the stock part of the ECU works, but the aftermarket chip does not no, no, work. No, the way around. The stock ECU still has this, the stock tune. Right. So it's able to run off the stock tune. That's what I'm saying. Um, my laptop can communicate with the S300 chip, but the chip cannot communicate with the board. Right, okay, so, so they're I both working, have, but they're just yes, not working together. Exactly, okay. so something in my soldering must have gone wrong, or I like burnt the board or something. I must have ruined one of the pins, I don't know. Rip. He's gonna send it out to Honda, Honda, and have them fix it. Doesn't really matter. We're still gonna be able to drive it. We wouldn't be able to get into boost either way because it doesn't have a tune. Hopefully, we can drive it around and get enough load on it where we can hear something, but we might not be able to. As long as we stay like below zero psi, we should be good. Otherwise, we'll just be like driving a stock Honda that's slower because we can't actually floor it. <laughs> While John was working on the ECU, I fixed the pop-up headlights on the rail in the auto. So I finally have a, a Miata with pop-ups again. Kind of see. Woo! I miss that. I miss that a lot. Working, hell yeah. Just a little <laughs> That was like the quietest like blow off valve noise I've ever heard in my life. And we're both I like, oh my god, so happy. <laughs> I don't even care how quiet that was. You guys probably didn't hear it. <laughs> like listening so intensely. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh <laughs> Turbo Civic. Turbo Civic. Can't wait to see it get wrecked by a Turbo Miata. Uh, oh. <laughs> Says the guy who said now I want an EG as my daily. That is true, I did say that. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be really sick. I can't wait for the first time when you take me for a ride and you just hear the wastegate open. So you said you're hoping for a 220 wheel? I hope so, if, yeah. if the clutch can handle it. You're pretty I, much just gonna max out the stock clutch, right? Yeah, Okay. essentially. Yeah, no, I, I think the internals are pretty strong, so I think the clutch is gonna be the bottleneck here. Yeah. What do you think about the new Camaro? Uh, it's interesting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're not making any boost, so you're you're safe. Oh, uh, that's pretty loud now. That's, that sounds really good. <laughs> that's so sick. That's so sick. I, oh my god. 
just want to downshift I so know. bad. Right? I almost it. did it. I almost did it. I almost downshift this. The cool thing about this is that it's got such a quiet exhaust that A, you can hear all like the intake noises a lot. And the moment that wastegate opens, it's gonna be insane. Though. I, I really I hope I can get this ECU thing sorted out. Yeah. I, you told them that it that it didn't work, right? Yes, I did. Oh yeah, we explained that, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I know it's kind of sad we didn't get to rip it, but we have to wait for it's tuned, uh, for it to be tuned. So John's gonna try his best to get it as tuned as soon as possible. As soon as it's tuned, you'll come back. We'll make a video, right? Heck yeah. yeah. I'm pretty excited too. Like, even though it's not my car, it's still it's so cool seeing a big transformation like this. But yeah, guys, that's it. That's it for this little mini build on the Civic. If you guys want to check out more videos on the Civic, you can check out John's channel. Um, I figured out what I was going to say. Oh yeah, what, what did you want to say? So, basically all I want to say is huge thank you to Caleb. Like, honestly, I my whole life, this is like all I've wanted is just modify cars. And I was thinking about this the other day. I woke up in the middle of the night. You know how usually if you wake up in the middle of the night, you're like stressed about something you have to do the next day. This is the total opposite. I woke up in the middle of the night and the first thing I thought was like, I'm literally gonna go work on my Civic all day. And it was just such a good feeling. Like that was like the feeling of like, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And like, I just realized that. And it was such a cool experience. So thank you so much for, you are welcome. for this experience. Yeah. Um, to be fair, you would have done it eventually. You just eventually, yeah, but slowly. Um, it's nice to be working in a shop with heat and with a lift. Um, and thank you to John for letting me film your stuff. So, thank you to you all for watching the video. So, if you enjoyed, give it a like. If you didn't enjoy, give it a dislike. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.